Hey everyone, this is Jet, and today I'm going to show you how to create a digital paper or you can call it a seamless pattern, seamless background, wallpaper background, whatever you want to call it. I did one before and I have the link in the description. You can also check that one. I will also show you how to download what you've created and design a listing image or post or mock-up in case you're selling this on any marketplace or even your own site. And let me show you one that I've created a few days ago. So here are my um, donuts and cupcakes pattern so i created this a few days ago so this is how it will look and i even have backgrounds on this one and uh, so on and everything will be done in canva and if you're new to canva i have a playlist of tutorials that you can check out anytime and also a link where you can register and i am using a free canva account so there's no excuse that you cannot do this by the way thanks again for always supporting my channel and if you're new here welcome and please don't forget to smash that subscribe button hit the notification bell too so you'll get notified whenever i post videos like this okay okay let's hop on to canva Okay, now that you're inside Canva, click on create a design and custom size. Now enter 3600 by 3600 pixels or if you're using inches, that'll be 12 by 12 inches. And just hit create new design. So now once you're here, go to elements and search for whatever graphics or icons or images that you want to have as a pattern or want to make as a pattern. So for example, I want a flower. So if you're using a free account on Canva, just use all these free images and just make sure that you're not uh, clicking this one with a pro that says pro here because these are paid images. So let's try this sunflower. I'll show you how to properly place it. So I'm just putting this in the middle for now. Now what I'm doing is holding the option or alt key and then dragging this so that I can duplicate it. And I want to put it on this side, but I'm making sure that it's centered. And then I'm going to do this on the other side as well. So it's centered. And if I select them, they're both aligned. So just make sure that these ones are aligned. And you can also duplicate this again. And make sure that this is centered. So it's like here. And you can see that it's centered because sometimes it will just snap or you will see those purple lines over there. So just click on this and make sure that they're aligned as well and drag this the bottom. Okay, this aligned. All right, centered, centered. And I just want to make sure also that this, these two are aligned. So that's okay. So I also want this in the middle. Okay, line, center, center. Now drag this at the bottom. Okay. And make sure that these two are aligned. So now I can create whatever I want on the inside. So I'm just gonna from just I was just making sure that these ones on the sides are aligned and centered. So that it doesn't have a like a white line when you put these two together, these two pages together. Now I'm gonna show you how to check if everything is perfectly aligned and they're seamless and they look like a seamless pattern so you can also flip this horizontal or vertical you can also drag this and then just resize it do whatever you want and you can also turn it around so you're the designer make it count <laughs> all right so once you're done with that, you can always duplicate this or add another page. And let's say, for example, I want this one. So if you're if you are um, selling on Etsy or any marketplace like um, maybe Creative Market or Creative Fabrica or Design Cuts, you might want to have this as bundle or packs or a set. So you might have to uh, design maybe twenty pages or fifty pages and have it as a bundle so that uh, it's gonna be worth it for the customers right, to buy your your pattern because sometimes those marketplaces uh, you can only charge them so much now once that you already have everything for example you have uh, 25 pages of this 
all that's left to do is download this as JPEG. Click on download and then JPEG and hit on download. So once you've downloaded all the pages, just unzip the file and then upload all the pages back to Canva. And if you want to check if these ones are aligned, all you have to do is create a new page like so. Now go to grids and elements and use this grid. Let me show you this one over here. And for the spacing, just make it zero and go back to your upload. And this is the one that we have. So just drag it, put it there, drag it again over here, here, and last one. So if you check, there you go, not even a line or a white line. So there you have it. And this one, you can also have this as a pattern already. So that's good enough. So you can download that one again and add it to your file or to your uh, pack or bundle. You can also duplicate this one and change the background to say any of this something like that and you can also sell it now you have a lot of choices and now you're done with your design and if you want to sell this in your uh, in your store or any marketplace you need to have that listing so for example let's go back to canva so it's kind of like um, a post or uh, like an image so you need to know the size of your listing. So for example, um, let's say it's a 1500 by 1500. So what you're going to do here is create a project that's, that's 1500 by 1500 pixels. So it's really easy to create those listings. So if you have a lot of images, for example, we, we only have two, we created two. So let me show you, I created this one's lemons. So I'm just going to use this to show you how to put all this sample this i'm just gonna or select a few of these okay now i'll resize all of them and put them in here equal i'm gonna put this here yeah, something like this and then just change those things. Okay, I have quite a bit of that, so I can do that. And you can also go to elements and use other shapes. So this you can do it this way. And we do it. Change. You can also change the color. If you have a brand color, then be sure go ahead and use that. Okay. And yellow. There you go. And you could put some text over here, like maybe 50 seamless patterns, 12 by 12 inches, or 3600 by 3600 pixels, JPEG files, or something like that, or, or easy download. Let me show you one that, um, or a few of them, what I have from my shop. And here it is for the donuts. I have this. This. So these are also mock-ups that I use. So you can have it as wallpaper or something like that, as gift proper or something. So this one, you can edit it. And then hit on shadows, glow. So it will look something like this. So it looks nicer. So do that to all of your images around here. So when you're done doing this, the shadows, and when you're satisfied with your listing, just download it as JPEG and upload it to your marketplace. And that's it. So it's it's super easy to create patterns on Canva. And also I have a different one, a different video, as I've said earlier in the intro. I have the link in the description, so you might wanna have a look at that one as well. And there you go, easy patterns. All right, that's it for now, and I hope you've enjoyed and learned something today. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Keep watching and keep learning, bye.